Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over don't baby your gun. Okay, if you think about it, these are machines designed to contain an explosion. And I promise you, there's not really anything you are gonna do to it by operating it or handling as it's supposed to that is gonna be any worse than every time you pull the trigger. So unless it's like an ultra rare safe queen that you just never shoot, don't baby your gun. It's a tool meant to be used. All right, so for an example, a lot of times we'll hear people, they'll get a hold of us and they'll say, hey, I just got a new gun. I went to go load it up. And they admit to being very delicate and riding the charging handle very slowly. Well, if you haven't taken and cleaned it and lubed it, like we recommend doing, and most manufacturers recommend doing right when you first buy the gun, uh, it's probably gonna be a little dry. Uh, this is one of mine. It's probably not that dry, but you'll notice there is a point right here where it kind of catches, where it doesn't want to go fully in the battery. And sometimes you can see the front of the barrel sticking out. You can see this, the guide rod sticking out. This gun is not all the way in the battery. It's because I did it real gingerly. Granted, <laughs> I just talked and it went into battery because I have a clean gun. Um, but that's one of the things you see is people are just being a little too delicate with their gun and things like that happen. So I've got an assortment here, including AK. Yes, even AKs do this. Because one of the things people don't stop to think about, you have this big piston going through a tube up here. And if everything's all dry and gunked up, when you're racking it, I mean, I can feel it catching back here. I can feel it catching right in here. There are multiple places there that I can feel it catching. ARs, man, that's one of the original designs with the forward assist is because it wouldn't always go back in the battery and you'd have to use a forward assist to get that in there. So there's a lot of different designs that can not go in the battery and not operate correctly if you're being really careful with it. So let's just go over how you should act when you have one of these guns. All right, guys, for example here, I've got my Mark 47. This is gonna take AK mags. Don't make fun of my Nana mag. We're gonna rock and lock it in like you should. Once you've got that, grab the charging handle and just be mean to it. Pull it all the way back and let it come out of your hand. Now that thing's chambered, you're gonna take this thing up, you're gonna shoot. It's gonna operate just like it's supposed to. Okay, now say you like to run your Mark 47 like you do an AK. Your magazine's empty. You can still get on it and operate it just like it should be. All right, guys, next I got my 5.56 Descent. It's got the folding stock. Smack that thing closed. Let's get that magazine in there. Slam it home, cycle it, and everything there was just gonna be very, you know, it's, it's very aggressive. You take it, you pull back, you let go. You don't have to take and pull it back and gingerly ride it forward. Just let it rip out of your hand. That's gonna cycle it almost every time. All right, next, I have a cheap Black Friday special AR-15. Did you hear how dry that was? I literally bought it, put it right in my safe, never did anything with it. But you do it and operate it like it should, it's gonna work. Okay, next, AK variant. This is a KP9, nine millimeter AK. Smack it home, let it go. Just like it's supposed to. Next, handguns. Take it, smack it, do that. Don't do that ginger stuff, just let it eat, okay? All right, remember, each of these, at least the AR variants, are gonna have some type of bolt catch, for the most part. Handguns, have a slide release. Just let it eat. Operate it the way it's supposed to be operated. You're gonna be running all day. All right, last but not least, revolvers. You see people do this all the time. You take it, you load it, and I'll hang on. Remember when I was talking about your babies earlier? This one's my baby. I'm gonna be careful with this one. That's gonna be a point of contention for some people. You're gonna see people say, do that, don't do it. I personally love this gun. I want it to last as long as possible. I'm not doing that to this revolver. All right, guys, so just as a recap, when you get your gun, follow the owner's manual, get it, clean it, lube it up, then take it out, be mean to it, run it hard. That's where you're supposed to do it. Till next time, guys, stay safe out there.
All right, next I've got my 5.56 five, Descent. It's got a folding stock. <laughs> Almost hit myself in the face with it. Let's do that over. My cameraman is not ready. Ah! 